What's up, everybody? What's up? Welcome back or welcome to Scylla and Teague's Nation. Nation. Today, we got a story time for y'all today. Yeah, we do. We're going to tell y'all about how our apartment caught on fire. It took me a while to tell you this story because I'm finally just kind of getting over it because I'm telling you, yeah. it, it messed me up. Yeah. And also, we have mm -hmm. some steak fajita nachos. And we got to hear from a place called Del Sol, mm -hmm. one of our favorite um, Mexican restaurants. We have another favorite here, but those, it's called Mexican Kitchen, but Del Sol and Mexican Kitchen is two of our favorite here in Hattiesburg. They gave us some sauce too, though. Yeah, say. they always give us chips on the side, too. Okay. You get one, too? Okay, we both got one. Yeah. And they, they said... They were the um rated the best salsa here. I don't know. I think some other places got some good salsa. But yeah. We're gonna get into this prayer, y'all. We're gonna get started. Yeah, because I'm you ready. Smash. Yep. Thank you, God, for this food that we're about to receive. And God, I pray you bless it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try some of this salsa because I don't think I ate none. You haven't? I'll be mm. tearing that sauce up every time. Mm. <laughs> it smells good. It's too. real good. It smells good. Shit with the Did they give us extra napkins or we just got it? I got extra napkins. Okay. Okay. Mm. I try to keep some on the car. But it's got um steak, onions, bell peppers. Oh, it's got this cheese. It's queso. Mm -hmm. I think it's queso cheese. Mm -hmm. Oh, the cheese is so good, y'all. It's got a, a little spice to it, but it is so yummy. That's how that crunch, y'all. I'm going to let y'all get the first bite. Let y'all get the first bite. Can y'all see it? Put it over my face. You got you got your fork and stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm. Try some, y'all. Cause babe, she be getting it. I be getting something different. Mm -hmm. When she be getting it, I be smashing her plate. Cause I be like, ooh, it's good. This is my all-time favorite from there. Yeah, that's good. It's that cheese and this steak. Oh my God, this steak is so um, seasoned. Like some Mexican uh, restaurants, their steak isn't seasoned. I don't know. Mm. Yeah, that crunch. Yeah, no, I love my crunch. If you don't eat it there, it's good to get your chips on the side because mm -hmm. it will get uh, soggy. It's salsa. Getting sad because I gotta tell y'all about the story, but it's but it's not well, it was sad, but mm -hmm. you know what was meant, you know, for bad, it turned out for the good, so mm -hmm. it did. Uh -oh. I'm gonna clean this car up. I know we've been wasting stuff, and it's like we live in our car for real. It's good though. I got a Coke to drink that I got from um a store by our house. Hey babe, what you got? I got a snapper, y'all. They all on sale at all of the Exxon's, I think, for 99 cents today. Kiwi scrap, the kiwi uh strawberry. Yup, the kiwi strawberry. Mm. 
I love that cheese. But they have steak, uh, fajita nacho, chicken, beef. Mm. But I love this steak with them peppers. Mm. I gotta make sure we have some efforts in the car. I know it. The cheese is up, too. Mm -hmm. This is my first time getting a um, plate from there, like the steak plate. Because I always get like taco and um, what else I be getting? The enchiladas. Mm -hmm. With the rice and beans. Yeah. I get that. But yeah, y'all, let me get it started. So last year, I had my son and my granddaughters, ooh, my granddaughter, over. And um, I was cooking. Mm -hmm. I cooked the um, meal. I made che cheesy chicken spaghetti. I had made some fried pork chops. Oh my God. My famous green beans. <clears throat> um, And I made some, I think it was Hawaiian rolls I made. Mm -hmm. Well, I put the Hawaiian rolls in the oven. I ain't make them. And um, I had been telling my landlord that I had been having problems with my stove. So, uh -huh. It's like when I turned it off, it wouldn't go off. It would pop on high, the eye mm -hmm. on the stove. It would like pop on high where it was like red. I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't cut you off. Like, for instance, if we cook at night, I got to sit down there at least an extra 30 minutes to an hour because I know it's going to pop back gone. And I have to sit down there until it pops on, and I have to turn it back off. Well, usually if I kind of jiggle and, like, play with the handle thing, it would go off. Mm -hmm. And then we'd sit downstairs and watch TV, and we would go back and check to see if it didn't come on or whatever. Mm -hmm. But they never would come out and fix it. So, anyway, I cooked that day. And it was fixing the um, it was storming. It was gonna be a real bad storm that day. Yeah. So I was trying to hurry up and get everything done, cause I had to take them back home. I had to hurry up and take them back home. That's another story, but we gonna leave that there. Anyway, I got through. The last thing I did was fry the pork chops. I had the chicken spaghetti, everything ready. I fixed their plates. Um, rushing out the door turned the oven off i mean turned the stove off and it was chaotic that day just turned it off and we left i had grabbed a piece of pork chop <laughs> before i left so i was eating on she the way eating on out the, i didn't get nothing y'all nothing i, I should have gave you a piece of that pork chop because <laughs> baby anyway thank god my baby boy he was gone he was at college well, he was going to college, but he was there that day, but he left, mm -hmm. and he was coming back. So, my son, he lived, what, 10, 10 minutes down the road? About 15 minutes 15 down the road. Minutes. Yeah, so we dropped them off, and we was on the way back home. I was driving. My phone kept going off, but I was driving, and um, it was starting to rain, and I was like, well... I'll call her back, you know, when I get to the house. Or, you know, she's at the house. It was my neighbor. Yeah. Her aunt. Yeah. So, we pull up we to the house. Nothing, nothing. nothing. We pull up. We get to the light by the house. And we see all the fire trucks. And we see smoke just going up above the apartments. And I was like. And I looked at Ting. She looked, looked at me. And we looked at each other and said, that damn I stone. said, I hope that that's not our apartment. Mm-hmm. We pulled into the apartment complex, y'all, and they were down there by our apartment. Three fire trucks, police, 
Everybody was standing outside. Mm -hmm. I see Cameron. He's running down the sidewalk, hollering, where's my mama at? It was our apartment on fire, y'all. Thank God for my neighbor. Mm -hmm. And her aunt because she was there and she said when she uh she she said she was smelling something burning and she said well they're not home she said well let me step outside no, she thought somebody she told me she thought somebody was barbecuing oh that's what she told me well she said I was like, she Lord. seen smoke coming out of our bed upstairs out of our bedroom window y'all mm -hmm. thank god the fireman said that um if she wouldn't have called if she wouldn't have called, the whole apartment would have been gone. Our kitchen, what happened was that stove didn't go off, and I had been um, frying pork chops in the grease. I guess it got on the eye. Mm -hmm. And that's how it started. My, our whole kitchen was gone, y'all. The living room, too. The living room, they had went in, and they sprayed the whole living room. Everything was soaked. Everything was black, black smut. Everything was rent, y'all. The walls, all the walls in the kitchen were gone. It was no such thing as a kitchen in there. Yeah, it was gone, y'all. I lost everything. And, um, you know, Cameron, it was raining. I'm out there. We're wet. We're like, oh, my God. I'm Where just, are we going to go? We I'm gonna startled. Do? Well... Now it's my time to tell some stuff. So they told us after them, you know, after they check everything to make sure that um that the fire is cool to go in there and try to get some belongings. Cause we was able to grab some stuff, not from downstairs, but from upstairs. So we was able to grab a few things that day. So I went up there. I'm talking about the floor, the floor, the water was so thick in the living room, it was like that high, almost above my ankles. Yeah. So I go upstairs, I'm so, y'all, I'm so, I got so much pride in me, and when I'm, like, in the moment, I don't want nobody bothering me, so my neighbors, them, you know, they're trying to be nice, my neighbors, like, you need us to help you with something, and I was like, no, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, you know, I just really didn't want to be bothered, I was like, I'm good, so, I go get some clothes, go grab Silas some clothes, go grab me some clothes, um, go grab some covers, and uh, so I'm coming down. We uh, we had a we got a big TV, we got a big old uh, steady five inch curve. So I'm coming down with the TV, and the floor was like real wet and slippery. So by, when I made it down, my neighbor was like, "Come on, team, let me help you real quick." And I was like, "I got it." So she was like, "No, you don't." She was like, "Let me just grab the end." So I grab she grabbed the end of it, and. My son, Cameron, he grabbed the TV, too, because I was coming down backwards with it. So when they grabbed the TV, I stepped back down on the damn floor. I just slid under both of their legs like a little bowling ball, and I came right back. I did shoo, shoo, came right back. Whole ass, just wet. Ass, back, everything, just wet. I'm about to cry. I'm like, man, it can, this day can't even get in, can't get any worse. And look, y'all. I haven't, I have, and this was evening time. This is around six o'clock. I haven't ate nothing all day. Mm -hmm. I have been in that kitchen cooking, and I know it wasn't funny then. Mm -mm. But y'all, when I tell y'all, I put my foot in that cheesy chicken spaghetti. Y'all, it was so cheesy. Mm -hmm. The pork chops was so golden. I fried them so good. She up here, she had got a pork chop. I'm, I'm sitting smashing here. the pork chop. I'm sitting in the car, my stomach just growling, and I'm like, I didn't need... Y'all, when we went in the kitchen, we seen parts of the pots in the um the um uh, the dish and stuff that I had mm -hmm. all the chicken spaghetti in what you couldn't see, not nan noodle, <laughs> not nan piece of cheese, not one mm -hmm. piece of pork chop bone, the green beans had disappeared. I was like, I didn't even get no dang on food, and I just kept well, we thinking. Fixed, we fixed them food. They got a plate, and um, they got a plate. They um, got a, the kids <laughs> got a plate. We didn't even get no dang. They on got plate. a plate, y'all. And I was just sitting there, and I told Tink, I said. That dang on chicken spaghetti was so cheesy. It was. It looked so good. She made a video. I think you made a little video of your, um, I did. your chicken spaghetti. No, did I didn't. No, I didn't. Oh, I could have sworn you made a video of it. Like, how you were pulling it up. I was like. Yo. I think you did make a video of it, baby. I didn't. Um, 
No. I ain't even getting none. So we had to end up staying in the motel. Yeah. And um for two weeks. It took them a month and a half to get our apartment ready. Mm -hmm. I got a whole new kitchen, whole new appliances. Yeah. Um We're working on like getting our, you know, decor. I lost my air fryer, I lost my crock pot, my microwave, my dishes, everything in the kitchen was gone. Um I had shared this with my TikTok family. I do, they wanted me to put up an Amazon wish list. I do have one up. It's called Scylla Pies Wish List on Amazon. If y'all would like to go check it out, go check it out. Cause I literally lost everything. We're just now getting a few stuff back. Mm -hmm. I lost my 75 inch TV, my stand, my furniture. We got our furniture back and stuff. Mm -hmm. But, and we got a smaller TV. But I we we literally lost everything. Um, we ate on paper plates and, and plastic forks for the longest. TV got sprayed out mm -hmm. by the water. The fireman sprayed our TV, y'all. TVs. I was sick. I was sick, y'all. Worstest nightmare of my life. But yeah, but that's what happened. It. it was so depressing though, cause it I was, was just thinking about. And they had out like they took all the stuff that was burnt and melted outside of the apartment. Oh god. And we just had to go, you know, we gotta check our mail and stuff, and we had to go over there every day and it just killed me just to our see whole, our whole living room. Living room was sitting, sitting in front of there. our apartment, y'all. Mm, 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 mm. They getting cold now. That food. Yeah, y'all. But yeah, that's what happened. Mm-hmm. And, he made it through, and you know, God, he made he made it work for us, and he's make, still making it work mm -hmm. for us. You know, a year might seem like a long time, but it's hard. Mm -hmm. I thought, like, at the fire, you would just go ahead and have everything, but it's really hard, you know, trying to get everything you lost. It's, it's really hard. And, um, like, places here, nobody helped. Oh, we ain't get no help. Um, not talking about friends and family. No, no, family. I'm not talking family. about, um, you know, places here to like help assistance. you to get your furniture mm -hmm. back or help you pay your light bill or um because they totally disconnected my light bill. I had to you go had to re redo the whole thing back. Um whew, and I'm still my like my bathrooms and stuff, they're still bare, nothing in there. I mean everything was just ruined, y'all. Thank God there wasn't nobody hurt. That's the most important, but mm -hmm. you know, you you have agencies here that's supposed to help. But no, no help. Agency help. No. no help. Um, basically, I'm getting everything back on my own. But uh, yeah, y'all, mm -hmm. it was a total loss. Cause I, it took. I've I've been in this apartment for almost 13 years. It took me a long time. I had the apartment furnished and and decorated so beautifully. I had so much stuff, you know, to cook with, and mm -hmm. you know, expensive stuff I had on my walls. My TV, my 75 inch TV, go. I lost some nice shoes. Cause I had shoes like downstairs in the car. I lost like a lot of nice mm -hmm. shoes. And then I had um I had a lot of jewelry. They got stolen, stolen. after the Y'all, this is after the fire. They, after the fire. Yeah, they broke in. They stole. broke in the apartment and stole my jewelry and stuff like I had it. I had a box. They have her, her jewelry on one side, my jewelry is on the other side, and you know we already had a lot of stuff, so I couldn't just bring everything. I had a fifteen hundred dollar necklace that, that I bought stolen. her. I had a fit. I bought her a fifteen hundred dollar necklace. It got stolen. I yep. had expensive watches. Man, yeah, my man, clothes. It hurt, it hurt my heart. I had just washed clothes that day, and I had them in a um right there on by the front of my bed. Smoke damage on all my clothes. Mm -hmm. I had to throw half of it away. But yeah, y'all, it was bad. But thank God, what well, nobody hurt. Yeah, but just what killed me is our apartment was already on fire. Why would you come in there and take some pe mm -hmm. take our stuff? And they was going to take the, the they should have just took the TV because the TV didn't work. They was going to because the TV was like halfway mm -hmm. by our door. And they had our windows, that they had to bust the window out the back to get inside the mm -hmm. apartment and let the smoke ventilate out. And so they boarded it up. But they didn't, I don't know why the apartment complex didn't board it all the way up. 
So they boarded it halfway up and they brought, they just they just kicked the board down and got up inside the apartment, left the back door unlocked, wide open and everything. And then I, that's when I had to take everything up out of there, the rest of everything up out of there until yep. they got finished with the apartment. Yeah, y'all, but that's the story. And yep. This is the end of the video because our time is up. Our time is up, y'all. But yeah, y'all, um, we love y'all. We hope y'all enjoyed this. Uh, mukbang and story time. Cause y'all been asking about the fire. Mm -hmm. There you go. That's that's what happened. That's it. <laughs> we getting back on up. You know what I'm saying? And we love y'all. We appreciate y'all mm -hmm. for you know even asking and being concerned about it. Cause I know yeah. people are like, what fire? What fire y'all talking about? Yeah. And you know. Cause you know that was gonna actually be our first video about the fire. Yeah, but, but she was she didn't really want to talk about it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, people been asking and. That's what happened, and we got through it, and we're all good. We're yep. fine. We're getting stuff back gradually. But, yeah, y'all, we love y'all, and we will see y'all in the next video. Peace. Ooh.